we became our own parcel of land. That was when we officially became, actually I think it was March 3rd, 1847. <laughs> um, and it, it actually changed like three times on the same day. It went from the founder of Austinburg to Grand River Institute. And then from Grand River Institute, it went to a man named Joseph A. Bates. And from what I understand, he's the first one that had a bar on the property. The main part up by where the bar is, that from what I'm told has been here since 1847. And they've added on this back portion, um, the side portion over there, the patio. We also have a bar downstairs that was used way back when they wouldn't let the farmers drink with the upper crust. So it was blue collar, white collar. You had to drink downstairs if you were like a farmer, working person. Different things. Uh, pool sticks flying off walls and falling off tables that they shouldn't be falling off of because there's ledges on them. Uh, just different noises you hear. Actually, the, the one time I was downstairs getting ice and I had the door locked because I was getting ready for my shift and you could hear somebody walking. It was crazy, so I came up and actually I was telling one of the other bartenders about it and she's like, I know just who that is. That's uh, Tommy Lou is who she said it was. Because I said it sounded like cowboy boots and I guess that's what he always used to wear. Well, and you can hear, you can smell perfume sometimes in the kitchen and they say that was um, Ma Plemmel. She was one of the former owners. She actually used to live um, where the pool tables are now. That you, there used to be an apartment over there and that's where she lived when she ran the bar. This is more or less a destination for snowmobilers. A lot of people I mean, there's, there's trails that go past here, but we get a lot of people that come off the bike trail because we're right down Lampson Road. It's an easy ride. We have a lot of people that come through doing, the, like I said, the bridge tours in the, in the fall especially. They come through looking at the bridge and see the oldest tavern in Nashville County next to the oldest bridge in Nashville County, and they can't help but stop.